simulation. 
current 
astronauts on each of NASA's six Apollo missions planted an American flag on the moon. Due to the harsh sunlight and lack of atmosphere, all of the flags were quickly bleached white. It's possible that some of the flags are also disintegrating. Acceleration Einstein's theory of general relativity, the equivalence principle is the equivalence of gravitational and inertial mass. It states that gravitational and inertial forces are of a similar nature and often indistinguishable. For example, an astronaut a spaceship is accelerating through space. At a certain rate of acceleration, a set of scales would say that they weigh exactly the same as they do when they're standing on Earth. In deep space, away from gravity, you could stand in an accelerating spaceship way the same as you would on Earth. So acceleration and gravity can be indistinguishable. Titan Lakes Titan is the name of Saturn's largest moon. It was discovered that the lakes here are filled with liquid ethane and methane. Scientists believe it might be a habitable environment, although the surface temperature is negative 180 degrees Celsius, so it is far too cold for liquid water to exist. Cosmic Inflation Cosmic Inflation is the theory that since the Big Bang, has been continuing to expand at a rate faster than light. Apollo 1 Apollo 1 was the first crewed mission of the Apollo program in attempt to land the first man on the moon. It was planned to launch in February 1967. However, the mission never flew. A cabin fire during a launch rehearsal test killed all three crew members by asphyxiation. They were Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger Chaffee. Wow, signal. In 1977, the wow signal was a sound detected by astronomer Jerry Emmon using Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Telescope. When scanning the skies around the stars, Jerry captured a 72-second burst of radio waves. He circled the reading wrote WOW next to it, which is where the name came from. Over the last 40 years, the signal has been cited as evidence of aliens. However, it was later discovered the sound was caused by two comets. The frequency detected was actually the sound by the clouds of hydrogen gas they emitted. The incidents. A number of incidents occurred with the Russian space station Ma. It was operational for 15 years 
causes the motion of an object with mass to change its velocity, for example, to accelerate. Einstein argued that gravity is not a force. He described it as a curvature of time and space caused by mass and energy. In general relativity, gravity is an effect of the warping of space and time in the presence of mass. Without a force acting upon it, an object will move in a straight A number of experiments show that gravity is indeed an effect of space and time. Gravity is built into the very shape of the universe. Next is Martian canals. During the late 19th and early 20th centuries, it was believed that there were canals on the planet Mars. These were a network of long straight lines in the equatorial regions on Mars. They were observed by astronomers using early telescopes without photography. In 1877, Milan Observatory Director Giovanni Schiaparelli began mapping and naming areas on Mars. He named the Martian seas and the continents with names from historic and mythological sources. He saw channels on Mars and called them canali, which means channels, but it was mistranslated into canals leading people to believe there was intelligent life on Mars. Later photographs taken by NASA's Marina 4 show that there were no canals at all. There was not even something that could be misinterpreted as canals. On close observation, it had been an optical illusion all along. Next is Buran. Buran was a vast space plane to be produced by the Soviet Union with similar design and function to the U.S. Space Shuttle. Buran completed one unimproved space flight in 1988. It was projected to have a second flight by 1993. However, the dissolution of the Soviet Union led to funding drying up, and this flight never took 
the Moon Museum is a small ceramic tile containing art by six artists from the 1960s. The artists are Andy Wall in the top left, Robert Rosenberg, David Novros, Forrest Myers, Glaze Oldenburg, and John Chamberlain. This tile was supposedly secretly attached to a leg of a lunar module in Trepid and left on the moon in 1969 during Apollo 12. The Moon Museum is considered the first space art object, although it has not been officially confirmed. Next is the Muamua Spaceship Conspiracy. The Muamua is the first known interstellar object solar system discovered in 2017. It was originally thought to be a comet, but was an unusually elongated shape. Also, no known asteroid or comet from our solar system has varied so much in brightness like the Oumuamua. A conspiracy theory is that it might be an alien spaceship. Scientists mentioned that the object was observed to be accelerating a Harvard astrophysicist proposed a theory that it was propelled by an alien machine, such as a light sail. The object can no longer be seen with any telescope since it passed Neptune in 2022 and is currently on its way out of our solar system. Next is dark energy. Strangely, the expansion of the universe had initially been de-accelerating until seven or eight billion years after the Big Bang. Then, for unknown reasons, a mysterious anti-gravity force started to dominate, which then reversed this slowing and started to accelerate. Dark energy is the name given to the unknown force that's causing the accelerating expansion of the universe. Because of this effect it has on the universe, we know it exists, but other than that, dark energy is a mystery. Approximately 68% of the universe is dark energy, while dark matter makes up about 27%. The last 5% is normal matter. Next is the Great Attractor. Our galaxy and other nearby galaxies are being pulled towards a specific region in space. It's about 150 million light years away. 
closet is obscured by the Milky Way's galactic plane, known as the Zone of Avoidance. We're not exactly sure what it is, but it is called the Great Attractor. It was first discovered in the 1970s that the Milky Way through space. Astrophysicists found that the Milky Way was moving in the direction of the constellation Centaurus at about 600 kilometers per second. It was found that about 400 elliptical galaxies are moving towards the Great Attractor, beyond the zone of avoidance. Next is String Theory. String Theory is an idea in theoretical physics that says reality is made up of infinitesimal vibrating strings, smaller than atoms or electrons. According to this theory, as the strings vibrate, twist and fall, they produce effects in many tiny dimensions, which humans interpret into everything from particle physics to large-scale phenomena like gravity. Current versions of the theory have a total of 10 or 11 dimensions. No experiment has definitively proven string theory to be the fundamental theory of nature. However, the ideas of string theory have passed many theoretical and mathematical tests over the last 50 years. Next is Venusian dinosaurs. In the 17th century, Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei looked through his telescope and found the planet Venus to have almost no features. What he saw was Venus's layer of thick clouds blocking the view to the planet. One of his most outlandish comments was something like the following. I can't see a thing on the surface of Venus. Why not? Because it's covered with a dense layer of clouds. Well, what are the clouds made of? Water, of course. Therefore, Venus must have an awful lot of water on it. Therefore, the surface must be wet. Well, if the surface is wet, it's probably a swamp. If there's a swamp, there's ferns. If there's ferns, maybe there's even dinosaurs. However, we now know that there is no rain on Venus since the planet's temperature reaches over 800 degrees Fahrenheit. There is no liquid, therefore there are no ferns and no dinosaurs. Wow. 
Allowing a photon to move relative to 
universes. The axis of evil is a name given to the apparent correlation between the plane of the solar system and aspects of the cosmic microwave background. It gives the plane of the solar system and the location of Earth a greater significance than just chance. This violates the Copernican principle, which states that the Earth is not the center of the universe, and that we do not occupy a special place. Next is reality is just information. This is a theory by scientist and philosopher Bernardo Castro. He says that since all particles can be described by a number of variables, such as momentum, charge, spin, and mass, that reality itself may just be a set of information. All matter is an illusion, and the only real thing is information. Kastrup said, only the mathematical apparatus that is used in theories is real, not the perceived world the apparatus was created to describe in the first place. The basic idea is that the physical universe exists because we perceive it. It's like a mass hallucination we use make sense of the mathematical relationships of objects. Next is living stellar objects. Living stellar objects is a theory which says the main factor for producing life is abundant energy which stars have plenty of. Author Robert Forward described a type of life that could live on a neutron star. Astrophysicist Frank Drake theorized that such life would be microscopic made of atom nuclei rather than full atoms and be flattened due to extreme gravity. They would be essentially amoeba and live and die millisecond to millisecond. In some older ordinary stars, it may be possible for life to evolve in the form of hard tungsten spheres measuring a few micrometers across. Some brown dwarf stars are so cold that they are actually room temperature on the surface which would allow for much more complex organisms that float around in the atmosphere and soak up radiation for food. Next is another universe. 
Thank you for watching.